So in terms of UDL and representation, AI tools could be used to suggest information in other formats. So for example, if you provide it with an academic journal and ask the tool to suggest podcasts, videos, and case studies that cover the same content, this is going to reduce your search time and you can just check the suitability of the suggestions rather than starting a search from scratch. You could also use it to suggest other ways to explain concepts. So if you find that there's a specific concept that is difficult to explain in a different way or students have consistent issues with, you can ask an AI tool about different ways you could explain that concept. And by doing this, you help more students get to that light bulb moment of understanding. In terms of engagement, we can use it to learn a bit about what young people are interested in and use that to create a poll or a fun quiz to get to know your students better. You can really enjoy the look of surprise on your students' face when you ask them about the things they think you would have no idea about. You could also use AI for ideas on how to connect to prior experiences. For example, learning more about a country or town that some of your students are from and use this information to make connections to course content. In terms of the pillar for expression, you could ask AI for ideas on different classroom activities for students to engage with content. So this could be small group activities, how large cohorts could engage in a lecture, or options for individual contributions.